a component that has an initial crack length of 15 microns, is subjected to 200,000 cycles of alternating tensile stresses that go from 40 to 140 megapascals. The part is then subjected to alternating tensile and compressive stresses of 220 megapascals. How many of the alternating stress cycles can the part withstand before failing due to fracture? This is the first example video for the crack propagation main video. The link to that video is in the video description. Some of the material properties we'd need to look up are the fracture toughness and the C and M crack growth constants of the Paris equation for this material. We are being asked how many cycles can the part withstand before it fractures. This will happen when the length of the crack reaches a critical length, or in other words, when the length of the crack A causes a stress intensity factor Ki that exceeds the fracture toughness of the material. A reasonable assumption for the modification factor beta is that its value is 1, since the very small initial crack lengths will almost always result in a small value of beta, regardless of the load configuration and therefore the chart we're looking at. The final crack length right before it fails would be equal to 3.79 millimeters. The stress we use here is the stress the part would be subjected to right before failure, which is the tensile stress of the second stage of cycling stresses. To know how many cycles it would take the crack to reach that length, we need to find the length of the crack at the beginning of the second stage of the loading, which is the same as the final crack length after the 200 cycles of the first stage of the loading. From the first 200,000 cycles, and knowing that the initial crack length was 15 microns, and that the stress range is 100 megapascals, we can find the final crack length after those 200,000 cycles. This final crack length of 44.8 microns would be the initial crack length of the second stage with the alternating tensile and compressive stresses. Going back to our original Paris equation in blue, we now have everything we need to calculate the number of cycles till the crack reaches a length that would cause the part to crack because the intensity factor surpassed the fracture toughness of the material. Notice that the stress range that I used for the alternating tensile and compressive stresses is only 220 megapascals. Using 220 megapascals instead of 440 is a reasonable assumption since the compressive stresses will have little to no effect on the actual growth of the crack. To sum up what we've done here, our material started with a crack length of 15 microns that will grow to 44.8 microns after 200,000 cycles of tensile stresses that vary from 40 to 140 megapascals. After an additional 16,075 cycles of alternating compressive and tensile stresses of 220 megapascals, that crack will reach a length of 3.79 millimeters, which will cause the stress intensity factor Ki to exceed the fracture toughness of the material and break. Thanks for watching.